Jade Edwards, touring car, full-time driver with BTC Racing for the 2021 season. Welcome to Is It Fast? How does it feel to be in that seat? Pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, I think it's been a long time coming. I've worked very hard for a lot of years to kind of get here. And at some points I thought maybe it was never going to happen. But um, thanks to everyone at BTC Racing, especially Steve Dubman, who obviously runs the team. It's it's happened. It's a reality. And we're, we're going racing. What what a, what a sentence to be able to say. Right. I mean, that's just it's, it's, it's great. It's great. Um, so and, and a lot of this is, is just judging from from afar but it looks like um you're joining a couple of of good pals at btc um how, how do you how do you feel that's gonna help hinder you um how, how do you feel about joining uh creasy and and and, and josh at, at the team i think to be honest with us three it's only a positive thing um creasy actually said in an interview the other day that actually for us as people nothing's changed year to year because we were together last year mm -hmm. obviously the season was very compact so we ended up traveling i was working in the paddock so i wasn't racing and those two were obviously at btc racing and we just kind of traveled together and it was you know whose turns to make the bacon sandwiches this morning and that <laughs> sort of thing so for us as friends and nothing's much has changed but now it just means that we're now living our dream together um and i think with the expertise that josh has got and the gaining experience that creasy's getting and obviously the success he had last year with the jack sears trophy i'm only going to benefit from that so you know working with your friends it, you know they say you know if you enjoy it you never work a day in your life so i think it's going to be a very positive year for all three of us but in very different ways yeah exactly i think you can you can lean on each other but probably if anything it's probably a bit more of a head start in, in a weird way isn't it compared to maybe some other drivers that come in fresh if you like yeah i think we all kind of understand how we work and i think in the media we kind of all come across as you know the fun kids you know so i think louise goodman said to me it's like um it's like letting the naughty kids sit together at school and in, in class um and we we do have fun and we, we we enjoy our racing but we also take it very seriously and josh especially is obviously a title contender in many ways and mm. he takes things very very seriously and that rubs off onto me and creasy as well we learn from him and you know the actual office area and the debriefs are all taken super super seriously and then when we set free into the paddock that's when our you know our fun personality comes out yeah, and I think it's, you know, it is important to have fun, you know, the more relaxed, I mean, obviously, not a racing driver myself. Uh, but yeah, I imagine the, the more relaxed you are in your environment, the more fun that you have, the, the better you'll drive, right? That'll translate onto track. Yeah, absolutely. I think you know, we have to remember that we're living our childhood dreams almost. And okay, we have to take it seriously. And we want the best results for ourselves and for the team. But we're also racing cars like we're racing <laughs> in British Touring Car Championship. And sometimes I've done it, you know, when I had tough seasons in the Clio Cup Championship or tough weekends and I'm there frowning and I'm sat in the truck and I'm not happy. Mm. I kind of had to take a look around and say, look, this is what you fought for. This is where you wanted to be. Now you're here. OK, it's not going. It's not going as well in, in the present. But overall, you're spending 10 weekends of your year going car racing. So I think there's an <laughs> element of, yeah, take it very seriously and, and be professional professional but also you know it absorb everything that's going on around you and, and realize that we're actually doing something very cool you, you mentioned there your journey to this point jumping in obviously Clio's and and um uh, you you you've, you've dabbled in in more than one type of car I think it's fair to say um but obviously last year you, you, you did a a couple of rounds with the uh, the chaps at PMR in the Astra do you think that in itself has also given you a bit of a, a, a confidence when it comes to, well, you know, I did front wheel drive hatchback last year, did, did well. Uh, this is just going to be more of the same, but, but better, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think I, you know, people always say that I've done a bit of British GT and I've done some races internationally, and mm. but I've actually never done a full season's racing until 2017 in my first year of Clio. So, OK, I've entered into a lot of championships, but I've actually mm. never done a start to finish season until three, four years ago, which is almost unheard of. Mm. You know, these kids that are in Janetta Juniors, they're, they've done karting, they've done yeah. Janetta Juniors, and they're just on track all the time. So, OK, I've done a lot of, you know, categories, but actually in the grand scheme of things, I've not done a huge amount of actual racing back to back for years and 
you know, I worked hard and, and in Cleo Cup, I always struggled a little bit. I had less budget than the most of the grid. You know, not, not mm. everyone had had the same money as the top guys. And I struggled a bit. And I thought, you know, there was times where I thought, can I do this? Have I got the mental strength to carry on doing this and and uh, and cracking on? But we got through it. And I did that race at Silverstone last year and I did race one. Obviously, I had to race with the ballast for, for race one. and mm -hmm. But I got some overtakes done and my pace was good. And the guys on the radio were positive And I finished the race, you know, a lot higher up than I started. And actually, I got a bit emotional after race one because it was a relief that mm -hmm. actually British touring cars suited my driving style better than maybe the Clio did. And I did OK and I didn't show myself up and I got the thing off the off the line. And, yeah, I got emotional. And that's where I kind of let out. And I thought, yeah, this is where I want to be. This is what I want to do. And doing that race weekend was a to just live my dream for a weekend and and accepting that that may only be the only time I race a, a British touring car but yeah. also to use it as a platform to get in this season and it's it's worked wonders as we can see it's it's made it a reality yeah absolutely you know it's it's I, I can't imagine the probably the pressure and the stress you put yourself under when you were stepping into the Astra last year because you knew I imagine you tell me otherwise that Oh, oh my gosh this is this is happening uh, but what a shop window yeah ab absolutely um it must yeah it must have been incredible how how do you how do you feel going into the 2021 season then obviously you've, you've dabbled you've got a great great team beside you and behind you expectations for for the year do you think putting you on yeah the spot? i mean i've not given myself anywhere to hide that's for sure um <laughs> You know, it's um, it's a brilliant team, a brilliant car. It's proven um, in both overall wins and and, and podiums and Jack Sears. It, it's proven in both of those. So, um, yeah, it's it's brilliant in some ways because I've got a great car, and my expectation is Jack Sears Trophy. It's stepping mm -hmm. into to Michael Creese's step, uh, footsteps and and trying to carry that trophy back to the team at the end of this season. So, you know, you have to be realistic in this championship and not many rookies come in and, and win races. I think the top position of a rookie in a single race last year was seventh. Mm -hmm. um, so just to break into that top 10 would be amazing. But for me, my eyes are set on on uh, the Jack Sears trophy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just lock the door, right? Just just to cement, cement uh, Creasy's front door off up and uh yeah brick him in and then you'll have no chance but to hand it over to you and let, when you let him out no that's that's awesome no i think that's um yeah to be honest, he's been carrying that trophy around ever since he got it at brands he literally <laughs> takes a boat with him on his van his i van. know i know and, he gets uh, it strapped in like a like a, so like a newborn even if i do win it i think i'm gonna have to fight him for it <laughs> now sit right there you go see maybe that's what we can do at the end of the season you know <laughs> yeah. you You've triumphantly won the won the Jack Sears Trophy, uh, and then it's just you and Creasy just coming to blows just and battling it out. Yeah. Just an octagon situation at Brands in October. It's I'm sure it's completely fine. I think if we do it at the uh, at the the Thistle Hotel or whatever at the Mercure Hotel, <laughs> yeah. have a little ring, and uh, we'll fight it out there. And then I think everyone will love it. Yeah, that's it. Just a couple of roundhouses, and you'll walk away with it. You'll be you'll be <laughs> fine. No danger at all. Just just on on that. Do you think your you mentioned your driving style? Um, and the fact that it, it you found it it actually suits the the championship really well how, how are you and I, I warn you now i have a weird fascination with testing i don't know why um where's are you are you set up for i know obviously things are tough but are you set up for testing and you are you primed and ready and you have things that you're going to hone in on and then bring it into the that first round at thruxton yeah, I mean, again, going back to this whole, you know, budget thing, mm. I didn't, I've never done much testing in my life. I think one of the seasons, 2018, I joined the Clio Cup Championship 48 hours before FP1 of round one. So for me, testing is a privilege, absolute privilege, and I'm not used to doing it. I went to the team uh, a week or so ago just to do a seat fit, and everyone was like, you know, how how are you, are you comfortable? How's your feet? Are you and I'm like, I know it fits. I, you know, I've never really had the privilege of having a seat fit and doing all yeah. that sort of stuff. I was like, I can press the clutch down. Is that good enough for you? And they sort of said to me, bloody hell, that's, that's easy. And I said, because I'm not used to this whole, you know, making it driver perfect because it's been a situation where I've been so short of money and short of time that it's there's your race car, go. Um, so this year, we obviously will do pre-season testing and I'm just going to soak it up. Like, like I said, I keep saying it. I'm going to learn off the other two. They're the guys that have the knowledge and experience. I'm going to go out. I'm going to drive my natural ability. And then they're going to look at it and go change this, do this, try that. And I'm just going to try and make myself as prepared as, as I can be for round one. Obviously, round one's at Thruxton, which is absolutely <laughs> mental. Yeah, um, yeah. 
but it's one of my favorite circuits so i'm actually weirdly looking forward to to that sort of challenge but it's going to be a big challenge Struxton's no you know no easy circuit and it's very ballsy yeah. and luckily i'm brave um but i just got to try and keep it you know on the black stuff and and do my very best and hope that you know the season starts how it starts but as long as i can keep improving towards the end of the year then that's all i can hope for pretty quick circuit i think it's fair to say to to get your uh, yeah your maiden maiden season underway yeah every PTC. time i raced there so every time i did the clear cup championship there you go out in fp1 and you genuinely take a deep breath of like <laughs> right let's go let's you know build up to it but it's weird how your brain just adapts to it and by race 2 of the weekend you're side by side four abreast through church drifting and you don't <laughs> think anything of it so you know you yeah. get used to it quickly but i think that first session out in a british touring car around thruxton is going to be i don't think I'm going to blink for probably the whole session. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, just kind of eyes wide all the way around. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, so it won't have escaped your attention that the show is called Is It Fast? Um, um, it's fairly obvious that you're quick on track. That's a given. Otherwise, you wouldn't yeah. be sat in uh, uh, where you are and, and in your in your brand new branded T-shirt. Um, but we're always interested in actually what what have you got off track? So uh, so we always ask the question, what what do you drive on the daily if you're happy to share that <laughs> and uh, and the big question of all is when you do tell us what you drive daily is is it is it fast does it go quickly <laughs> so about two months ago i had a bmw 3 series m sport coupe not a new one but it was a i think an 11 12 plate something nice. um i absolutely loved it 325d but it was m sport it was nice and i i absolutely loved it it was um a nice cruiser but obviously you could have a bit of fun in it sometimes mm -hmm. and then i got a dog <laughs> ah yes <the laughs> and we needed a dog car so we have gone for i've now got a uh, audi q5 uh, s line plus so we've still got a little bit of sportiness to it but it's definitely not quite the same vehicle that i once had so, <laughs> but what it is it's fast enough but it's not I, I mean the first thing i did was obviously i've gone from a bmw three three liter whatever mm. and i got in this thing and it was a two liter and i literally looked at my boyfriend and i was like this thing is so slow yeah and he was like you're in a four by four like <laughs> get over yourself like and i remember just chugging along in it yeah. but I've, I've become accustomed to it now so the dog's happy so that's all that matters yeah yeah they tend to get kind of look at you a bit worried if you if you get a bit spirited they go well hold on <laughs> hold on mum you know there's, there's something yeah. going on here no absolutely um budget no no concern what would you what would you drive on the on the daily what would be your your motor vehicle of choice so i'm a bit weird i love a i love a good pickup truck so I would it's weird so I've got two <laughs> minds I've got two minds right so if I was to go you know you said daily I'd probably go with my, my crazy pickup truck with great yep. big fat tires on it the old uh, the fog lights on the on the top and things like that if yep. I was going to have my special car 100% I'd go for a McLaren 600 LT um they're such a good car they're good car on track they spit flames out of them they're fast they're comfortable um, yeah, I, I'd have to go McLaren 600 LT for, for my special car and then my, my dog and my pickup truck for, for day to day stuff. That is, that is a set of answers I don't honestly think I was expecting. <laughs> I'm just imagining an F-150 or, or, or some sort yeah. of Raptor type jobby. Exactly that. Exactly yeah, that. I mean, those are. I want to drive as the crow flies, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a, a scary thought. I mean, yeah. for the general population, obviously, but overall... <laughs> pretty pretty <laughs> pretty assertive way to go around your life isn't it so i'm gonna go over there now uh sheep get out the drive. yeah yeah so exactly away, away you go no that's um very honest <laughs> amazing well jade thank you very very much for coming on to is it fast and from myself and the entire team here at the studios uh, we wish you the very best of luck for the forthcoming season thank you very much guys take care thank you once again to jade for joining us here on is it fast to talk about her aspirations and the 2021 season with btc racing if you have enjoyed what you've watched and listened to then please do follow us on your social media platform of choice to watch many more interviews to come